hello everyone welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to put together this gorgeous purse box from mycraftingworlddesigns.com guys it is such a great size i showed this in another um live video i will have a link down below so you guys can get some details on and see what other things um that i received from her i'm going to be guest designing for my crafting world designs which is a shop a newer shop owned by anna she is anna's wonder world i want to say i have her link down below guys um and i'm going to be guest designing for the month of may and she sent me some really cute dyes i'll have that video linked down below so you guys can see the goodies she sent me and this is just like my little prototype i'm not done with it yet but how gorgeous is this guys it is such a great size you can fit so much stuff in here this is a four four ounce bottle of glue and if i didn't have this cap on here it would fit perfectly it is huge you guys you can fit so much stuff in here you can fit so much in here <laughs> look you can fit so much so much so much so much you can fit so much it is such a great size okay this die set is 38.99 you guys can use my code poochie 10 to save 10 percent off your entire purchase and i'm gonna show you guys how to put this together okay it is just such an amazing size guys it is huge okay so it's definitely worth the price point and i'm gonna show you guys all of the dies that it comes with okay so we have our foundation pieces okay which is this piece here this is gonna be your flap we have this piece here which is gonna be your side we have this piece here, which is going to be your front and your back. So for these, and they're shaped like they have like a, you know, they're kind of cur curve, point, come to a point kind of on the sides right here. These you're going to cut two of, okay? And then you're going to have your base piece here, okay? So along with these, you are going to receive this piece here, which creates your handle. And then you are going to get stitch layering pieces for every single piece that I just showed you guys, okay? So tons of dies. And not only do you get all this, but she also included a really cute bow die in here that we played with in another live. And it also comes with this cute little tag and this little like flag embellishment thing. And I did cut those out in live. Let me see. Here goes the bows. They're so adorable, you guys. They're so pretty. So it's a really great value. Like I said, it is a great, great value. I'm telling you guys, when you guys get this die and you play with it, you're going to be like, oh, man, I'm glad that I grabbed this. And you are going to love the size, okay? So let's get started with this tutorial, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put my layering pieces back in here you even get like a little layering piece for one of the flaps in the inside in case you want to decorate or layer that up as well okay so let me put these in my little envelope all right so you're gonna cut one of each of these dies your handle your strap your um i'm sorry this is your strap this is your base piece okay and your flap. You are gonna cut one each of these three pieces here to create your box, okay? So I went ahead and I did that. And then just remember these two right here, they are slanted on the sides. Those two dies right there, you are gonna cut two of those, okay? So I already went ahead and I did that. And these pieces here are going to create Sorry, guys, I'm trying to talk while I'm putting this in here. It's going to create your front, your back, and your side. So you're going to need two of these, okay? And the way that you will remember, again, is because they're, they kind of come at an angle, okay? Almost like a triangular shape. All right. So cut two of those and one each of all the other ones. And you are good to go on putting this purse box together. It is so simple, guys. I went ahead and I cut all my base pieces out of 110 pound cardstock because you guys know I love for my products to be nice and sturdy. 
okay so we have again these pieces that are like kind of like slanted they are you're gonna cut two of those and then one each of the others okay so what's very important i almost messed up putting this together and what i really want you guys to remember when you're putting this back together this square piece is your base remember that this is your base okay everything needs to go to your base i almost messed up and mixed the flap with the base okay that is this is not your base this is your flap okay so let's get started i'm gonna go ahead and let's put our front and back pieces first okay so these are our front and back they are bigger than the side ones the smaller ones are your side pieces okay so we're gonna glue them like this front and back okay this is our base don't forget that that's your base guys because i almost messed up and glued that wrong so let's go ahead and fold these let's add some glue I hope this video does not end up being way too long. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on. There is no way you can mess this up, guys. It is so simple. It looks like a lot of pieces, but it is so simple to put together. Line it up. You'll know you're doing it right because they're going to fit perfectly, okay? You can't put this on the other side. It's not going to fit. So here is our front. Let me get my bone folder. Crease that down. There goes our front flap. Let's go ahead and do our back. I'm just going to fold on the score lines. Add some glue. And just line it up. Okay. You can do your sides next. It's totally up to you. However you like to craft and put it together. It doesn't matter, guys. It does not matter what order you go in. Do whatever works for you. But always remember that this is your base. Because you will get that flap confused. Okay, this is our flap. Okay. Our flap has that rounded edge. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold this on the score lines. And we are going to glue this bottom part, the smallest part, to our back. Okay. And she actually added a layering piece in case you want to cover this. If you want to layer it and cover it. So I'm lining it up and I'm going to make sure that I adhere it down real good. Get a good bond. Use your score, scoring tool. Okay. And this is what it's going to look like, guys. It's going to look long. And this is the part where I almost messed up. I was about to put this, these side pieces on another one of these panels no don't forget your base piece your base piece is the second one here okay so let's go ahead and put these together this bigger part you see these are all the same size right here this is going to be you're going to glue these on the side and on the bottom this is going to be your top part okay so simple to put together you guys and then you can decide how you want to do your layering pieces. You can layer the inside. You can layer the outside as well. Totally up to you. I'm going to go ahead and glue the bottom to my base piece, which is the second piece here. I'm going to try to line that up. Make sure you get on there nice and straight, guys. Okay. There we go. And use your bone folder. It comes in handy for stuff like this. 
All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this is what it's looking like now, okay guys? Long in the middle, and then these sides coming out your base. So same thing with the other side. Okay, and I'm gonna put glue on the very bottom first. I'll try to line it up. Line it up really good, guys. I don't want no crooked boxes. Okay, and I'm just gonna make sure I got a good bond. And then all you have to do is glue. So you're you're gonna pull this up. You're gonna pull this up, and you are gonna glue this to this next panel. Okay, glue it there, and then glue this to the front panel. So you'll be gluing all this together like this. Okay, so I'm gonna stop. And I'm gonna um, come back when that's glued together because y'all don't want to see me do that. Do you want to see me do that? Let's let's go ahead and do it. And you can decide whether you want to do both sides at once. It's totally up to you. Put a little bit of glue, and I'm gonna make sure that I line it up really well. Okay. And again, use your bone folders, score tools, whatever. To make sure you got a good bond so i'm gonna press it with my hand first my fingers and then i'm gonna go on the inside with my bone folder and get it down really good okay i'm gonna do the same with the other side you can put a nice amount of glue if you want to have some wiggle room but just make sure you line this up nice. You don't want to crook it. So kind of look at it from all angles. There we go. Nice. It comes together so nicely, guys. Okay, and then once you got it good on there, go ahead and use your bone folder. So that it doesn't come up. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this. Same deal, guys, okay? Same deal. Line it up really good. And once it's on there good, it might shift on you. If you don't use your finger to get it on there good, it'll shift. All right, I think that's good. See, it's coming up on me. Hold on. See, that's happening to me because I put both panels with glue. <laughs> that always happens when I try to be fast. All right. So I'm going to use my bone folder. Do the same thing with this side. Super simple to put together, guys. Use that bone folder. Oh, it moved. Here, I gotta put some more glue right here. So just do one at a time. I think it's a lot easier to do one at a time. Take your time to make sure that you got everything nice and straight and looking good. There we go. Okay. your bone folder and that is your box you guys these flaps this is a box purse so i'm not sure if this these pieces are like you know for extra security 
but this is how it, it is guys and then you have your flap right here this is your completed purse okay that is the base of your purse so then you would decide what kind of closure you want to do if you want to do magnets put your magnets now and then put your paper your layering pieces over it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do a speed through and then we'll come back and do the handle All right, guys, so I have it all matted. And you do want to pay attention to how you want, if you're using especially directional, kind of map out how, what papers you want to use and how you want to do it. Um, on this one, I did create a shaker. And I didn't want it all to be the same print, so I did change it up. So you've got to kind of think of how you want it and don't pay attention to the direction. Like, for example, this one is the hearts. So I had to make sure that I cut it so the hearts look good. I created a little shaker cut out here. Um, you can do that as well. I think that it looks really cute. But let's go ahead and put this strap together, okay? So you get the base and this one. And I'm trying to think what... I think I want to use this for the strap. Or should I do the blue? I'm going to do this color, this, this part. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this. This is your handle and the layering piece. So let's go ahead and glue that. Okay. Get it on there really good. And then we're going to make little score marks. You guys can decide how tall you want your handle. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to score it at... My little tool that I use for scoring. I'm gonna score it at this little knot. I'm gonna do it this little notch before what is that? Let me see. Three fourths. Okay. The little notch in between a half and three fourths. Because I want to make this strap as long as I can. I did it at one inch on the other one and I it was too short so I think I like it at this length you guys can decide to score it at wherever you want just wherever whatever you do on one side do it to the other okay okay and then we're just gonna go ahead and fold at that score mark and then we are going to round out the middle okay so manipulate your paper like that and then if you want to put decorative brads stick those on now and then glue them okay i'm gonna go ahead and stick it just to get this video done for you guys and then i'm gonna decorate it with something okay and you can decide Wherever you want to put it, however you want to do your strap. But this is the strap that it comes with. I kind of want it to be like as tall as possible. So I'm going to, I don't want to really put it towards the edge, okay? But you guys can totally do that. You can combine two straps and make it longer. It's totally up to you. But how cute is this purse, you guys? I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here because I don't want the tutorial to be too long. But I will be back with another video for her to show you guys my finished boxes. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I will be posting pictures and like little reels there, okay? But guys, this die is a must-have. You've seen how much stuff that you can put on, put in there. It is so nice. Oh, and let's put our little... Um, You can do a magnet, but I really like using these from Happy Crafter Shop. <clears throat> I think I'm going to use pink. I always want to use pink. 
She has almost every color you can think of, okay? You guys can use my code Poochie10 over there as well. So, guys, let me know what you think about this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and do that closure off camera because I don't want this video to be too long. I want to upload quickly for you guys. But that's just a quick tutorial on how to put this box together, this purse box. And, guys, it's going to be a great, great, great box to give Happy Mail and stuff in, okay? So, again, I hope you enjoy, enjoy this video, guys. I'll have everything linked down below. Thank you, Anna, for sending me the stuff. And use my code Poochie10, guys, to save 10% off your entire purchase. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, everyone.